What is shame? What does it mean to live in shame? Well, it means that you see yourself through the eyes of somebody else or several other people, society perhaps, or culture, and that you disprove of yourself, that you consider that you are deficient in the wrong, that you are not up to the standard that should and could be expected of you, that in some specific and important ways you are falling short of other people's expectations of how you should behave, how you should be in the world and what kind of person you should be. Shame can be a very useful mechanism when it means <clears throat> that it helps you become aware of the ways in which you're falling short in the sense that it allows you to learn, become a better person. And this is <clears throat> how parents often use the idea of shaming their children. They put them to shame by telling them off and stating very clearly <clears throat> what they would expect of them normally and how they should behave. But of course, most of the time, it doesn't work that way. The shaming is actually too much and too damning and the children or the people that are shamed become very battered by it, very upset by it too. And they lose a sense of their own goodness or their own capacity to be better than they are. So shame can backfire very much. And if you carry a lot of shame inside of yourself, then particularly you might become very insecure about yourself. You might feel very diminished and very deficient and you might actually become quite paralyzed in the way you go about your life. Because everything you do and everything you say, you become self-conscious and you feel that somebody else is watching you or criticizing you or listening to you and knowing better than you. And therefore, you lose your self-confidence. You, you lose your inner sense of integrity. You are no longer capable of checking who you are and where you stand by your own standards, but rather this externalized view of yourself and what you do and what you say and who you are is constantly with you. Now, if that were a positive view of you, then that might do you some good. But if it is a negative, undermining view of you, it will almost certainly stop you in your progress. So to be blamed by people and to be shamed by people is not a nice experience and it is not a positive way for a person to become aware of how they might want to improve themselves or how they might want to progress in a new direction. Much better to be reminded of your objective, of your purpose in a positive manner and to be clear as to what it is you're trying to achieve and where it is you are going. Because if you have that sense of direction and you have that sense of inner competence and capability and energy and passion to achieve that and to go forward and to keep trying until you get better and better and better, then, you know, you're freed from that negative, noxious, toxic image that people give you of yourself when they shame you and blame you for something that hasn't gone so well. So try to liberate yourself from shame. To be free of shame is the best way to begin to improve your life and to replace shame with purposeful living, learning living, where you are self-aware where you're self-reflective and self-observing and aim for improvement all the time. 
will get you across that hump that you might be caught behind if too much shame and too much blaming has always been part of your life. Be it shame that's given to you by others or shame that you carry within yourself. Don't let them shame you. Find your own standards, live by them and keep going, my friend. Onwards and upwards.